So, hello. I would like to talk to you about uh, new ways of how to reach the consensus because I know that uh, your committees, all the other committees, need to find uh, the best way how to uh, take the best, best, best possible decisions and to be uh, in the Institute for Democracy 21 have developed a new uh, method that can be interesting for you. But first of all, I will just start by some big consideration we are trying to achieve right now in the world. Cool. So imagine a network, a global network that could connect with your own units. Oh, wait a second, we have it already. Internet, Facebook, blockchain. So cool. Let's move forward. Uh, so imagine a world where we all realize uh, that we've got bigger issues and we need to connect together uh, and uh, see how it stands aside as humanity. Uh, we live in unique time of human history because threats are mounting, but opportunities as well. We now have the technology <coughs> that can destroy us, but that, cannot, that can also allow us to work together on a decentralized way. So, what can bring us together? Before I tell you that, or maybe not, just a small joke. So, there are two planets, uh, one in the galaxy, and one of them uh, says to you, to the other one, how, it, how are you doing, actually? And say, well, pretty bad. Why? Because I've got Homo sapiens sapiens. And the first mark says to the other one, well, worry not, it's going to be over soon. And the question now is, how is it going to be over? Will we collapse and destroy ourselves? Or will we just advance to the new era of our existence where we realize that we don't need borders, we can kind of work together and uh, realize our humanity? Well, the decision is now. Uh, because global question is global answers, as you all know here. And uh, I believe that uh, your community has already built a, or is building a decentralized uh, global community. And the question now is um, no. <laughs> I think we are blocked, but well, it's not important for now. It's okay. okay. <laughs> uh, what would it take to mobilize this community to think and act as global citizens? Um, I've, we believe that uh, we should start to think uh, somehow as uh, citizens of the world and uh, that this decentralized connection between us is important. And one of the first things we would propose is kind of global voting to realize that we can be part of one common body of our common we, and from that we can also develop other things. Um, but, well, back to Earth. So, um, what we can bring to the change makers? We are just proposing a simple tool, which is a way how to reach better consensus, and how to probably uh, foster slightly better decisions than we, that we are just having now. Because all the communities, all the change makers, all the people who want to change the world or just uh, contribute to good things in the world or uh, just put the people together need to have uh, the way to decide. And it's important because often we just uh, use, okay, we use the first first part proposed system or a proportional system, one person, one vote. But we don't realize that actually the, the voting system, the decision making system has uh, kind of very uh, high importance on the outcomes of our decisions. Uh, so, we, uh, actually our founder, Karel Janicek, he uh, is a philanthropist, mathematician, uh, anti-corruption activist, uh, and uh, social innovator. He, uh, uh, back in 2000 or something, he founded RSG Algorithm Trading, which is one of the biggest uh, market makers in, uh, for, in models to exchange. And uh, he just found something easy that instead of having one person, one vote, you have more votes. And you have on, not only more positive votes, but you have also negative votes. And it's really simple, it's really like basics. But it can change the outcomes. So imagine you've got um, 
<laughs> you've got instead of one vote to two positive votes. So instead of saying just one word, I want this this person, this candidate for the president instead of the other one, I say, well, I like this one, I like also this one, but I agree don't go this one. And instead of saying one word, you can say the whole sentence. And uh, often people can get uh, all the second or third references, which is probably this, the best uh, social collective outcome. So just uh, one small example. So imagine seven friends that go together for, uh, for a dinner, and they need to decide where they go. Uh, simple system, one vote, one person. You've got some of them, two of them want to go to McDonald's, or the, or the others want to eat something interesting. What is the outcome of the, the vote? Obviously those two that want to go to the fast food won, <coughs> because the, the, the votes were shared uh, in, in different options. Now you can ask people to have more votes, so each of them, there's just one restaurant, but two, each of these people have just two votes, and it changes everything, because uh, you don't always match on the first preference. Uh, because everybody has this preference, this is my project, I want my project. But then, if you can match the second one, if you say, okay, this is the best one, this is mine, but also the other one's cool. And often the collective outcome is better when you, when you have more votes. So in this outcome, you see that uh, those two for the fast food are still there, but all the others, they met on their second best. And you see that the outcome is the Italian restaurant. What we have also is the also the type of negative votes. So in this example, you see really that those people, uh, like row one, three, and four, they were really voted against the fast food, and the outcome is even worse for the McDonald's, which is kind of negative. Another example, uh, US elections, uh, primaries 2020. Uh, you see that the system, you have more positive and negative votes, which just brings you the possibility to see the indifference, uh, opposition, consensus, and controversy. So the last candidate uh, has the most uh, uh, positive votes, would have won in uh, from the system, but there's also high oppositions to, for him. So if you see, probably he's not the best candidate, that will be uh, consensual for all the community. One, another, another thing that uh, can uh, be, uh, be done, thanks to the smart uh, decision making system, is to avoid weird smart questions. So instead of asking simple questions like uh, big moral questions, yes, no, referendum, yes, no, uh, voting for candidate A or B, like we did in France, uh, we did in the US, and uh, we did in Czech Republic, it's always bad because the device is so shattered. And we do want to do that, especially if you want to build a decentralized community. So you want to have like a um, question that you have a range of options and the people, they cast their preferences. This is the option I prefer, this is the second one I prefer, this is the third one I prefer, and this is something that I really refuse. So if you imagine just a simple question, yes, no, well, do you think climate change is a major problem? Yes, no, what does it change? Nothing. You don't, uh, you can't learn anything from that. If you say, how much do you care about climate change? Same. A lot, a, a lot, a few, I don't know. If you ask, uh, okay, what should we do about climate change? You have like all the big essays and you'll still not be able to decide. <laughs> but if you ask from the range of options, you've got, uh, I don't know, 10 different options, and you ask the people, okay, now you cast some positive votes for that, you, that are the most important for you, and those that you think that are not important, you have the smart choice that you can have to apply to the community. But, probably let's stop speaking of that system, you can try it. Uh, so, if you go to vote d21.me slash adfinex, you can do it now, you can do it later on, it's open until tomorrow at 6.21, afternoon it's closing. And uh, there are two questions, one about the SDGs, uh, just to put it global, second one is about uh, cryptocurrencies, and the third one is about our third day, what we're going to be talking about. So I just invite you to do it now, after we just take four minutes. So let's see the link. And probably something more about us, what we are doing. So one of the things, as I started already with that, it's that we are trying to uh, gather partners around the world to uh, start a global poll to 
we realize that we can all, all humans uh, in this planet, or at least uh, <coughs> those that can be connected to internet or vote uh, remotely or on paper, just to find all the ways to and to decide on the first question, uh, we can reply to the community to realize that we can co-decide and to be as one body. But after we do uh, different surveys, we uh, work in schools, school, school, school part of the budgeting, uh, Africa, Asia, and uh, we also did the last three years of uh, parts of budgeting for New York City, <coughs> which is the biggest in the world currently. And uh, so this is the one. And there's one, another thing which is interesting. Last year, there was a presidential election in Czech Republic. And we like to play. So we played it. We did a primaries for the for the presidential elections, which was an online game where, where people could uh, vote, uh, get information about these uh, about the candidates, and we also used that to test uh, with the population how they would react to this new system. And uh, feedback was very positive. That people we said that okay, well, it's much easier for them because before I needed to vote from one of ten, but it's not like I prefer only one. I prefer this one, this one, this one, but I really hate that one. And the outcome, actually, if you see it here, um, was completely different be, uh, between those that this was the, the outcome from. Uh, uh, well, this was the outcome with uh, one one person one vote, and the other one was with uh, with uh, multiple votes. But I will probably just pass you a quick video for one minute if you can. That just shows you the system and also explains uh, what we did in this game. <laughs> That's a Wi-Fi problem. <laughs> ah, it's going to become a problem. So just one uh, minute demonstrative video of the system and of the game we did. So, and there was 300,000 uh, Czech citizens that voted in it and 3 million of hits on the... But I'm not sure if we're going to have it now. <laughs> So I'll probably just skip it. Now, President 21 is an online voting game that allows you to elect a Czech president according to the new Democracy 21 voting system. Each person has several votes. In this case, three positive votes and one negative vote. Multiple votes help you to express your opinion in greater detail. More information leads to a better consensus. In addition, you can vote against a candidate who you would not like to be president. Thanks to more votes, the population comes to a more consensus-based agreement on a single candidate. We don't favor anyone. It's purely up to you. For authentication purposes, it's necessary to enter your phone number. Are you curious about the opinions and visions of individual candidates? Do you want to discover who your ideal person for the real election is? Go to president21.cz to find all the information in one place. Upgrade the way you vote at president <coughs> Thank you. So this is just a small demonstration of the games we are doing because it's always good to play. And uh, so this is a platform that you can... Uh, the ID is not correct. We get an error message. That the you have the capital E, actually. You need to make it can. Yeah, sorry, I forgot to mention it. Uh, this capital is case sensitive for the capitals. And uh, if you have any information, just... Is it working now? Yeah, cool. So we can test this as a platform, and you are right now just in that, so we we'll need to talk more about that. Uh, our team, so we are kind of uh, social innovators, we are interested in the voting system, we uh, focus half of our time on research, and the other half of our time on playing and uh, trying to help those that change the world to give them a tool that can help them to foster better decisions and find a better consensus. So on this, I think, uh, thank you very much for listening to me and I'm ready for your questions. <laughs> My question is about quadratic voting. Did, uh, what's your opinion about that? Have you made any tests on that? And just uh, I would like to hear your thoughts. Uh, thank you. 
Um, maybe it's TV because I'm not a specialist on the different voting system. That's a question for Kara and uh, our researchers. So more on the more on the side of uh, project management and stuff like this. So um, we'll not be able to reply to it with all the knowledge. So sorry for that. Thanks for sharing that. Uh, it seems to be very close to conversion voting. Uh, is this correct? Uh, yes, I know. Yeah. Um, uh, regarding this, it's optimized for finding consensus. Uh, as we have like also other questions, are you looking at different like smart voting uh, functions or principles? As this is only one of potentially many. Yeah, actually. So as I said, we've got a research team that uh, kind of. Uh, Test different different systems. We do comparisons also. So what we did in uh, different uh, we had different focus groups uh, of uh, hundreds of people. We, we try to uh, test different systems. We can't say that our system is the best one because uh, we are still testing it. But it's uh, definitely one of that uh, shows interesting patterns. And as, uh, actually, the system that uh, we found uh, one of the most interesting patterns that <coughs> often in the community decisions we are that are quite decentralized, you have uh, kind of organized minorities that can be vocal. And uh, given this uh, more votes per, per people and more votes than outcomes and uh, with a negative votes, this is a system that is very resistant to that. But yeah, uh, as I said, I'm not, a, not an expert to compare the voting systems, uh, but uh, definitely I can, I can help you to connect my colleagues that. Uh, they do this. Is there anything published? It would be great to have it. Somewhere. Yeah, definitely. So you can go to the, the website, uh, which is somewhere here, www.fd21.org, and you've got some research. And we can also, if you can ask for the diff different data there, uh, we can give you the, all the data sets that are open source. So it's, it's quite easy. Just collect everything we have from the Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. That was quite interesting for us as um, FMX as well because you know, we have a section on our website where users can submit proposals uh, to change to the platform. Um, it's quite simplistic at the moment. You know, it's simple sort of yes or no questions. You know, something like that would be quite an easy win for us, um, giving people more options how we phrase the question. So maybe it's something to have to think about from the third day. You know, if that's something we want to do, we can probably put that in quite quickly. But yeah, I have a think for the third day when we talk about it in more detail. Uh, we have now uh, Antanas Kuoga. Um, 